Hello there and welcome to another Bo Beats video. My name is Bo and today we are checking out the new XD module that Korg sent over for me to check out. We're gonna go over what's new about it. It's not that much, but it's still quite exciting. And I'm gonna drink some coffee, make some sounds, and we're gonna talk about who this is for, some alternatives, what are the new functions, and also I have a little wish list of things that I'd love to see them add to the module. If this sounds fun, grab your favorite beverage. It should be coffee, but if you have something else today, I, I, I'll just let it slide. Let's check it out after this word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks Audio, which is a great service for getting royalty-free samples, music and sounds for your videos or other creative projects. Use my link in the description below to learn more about Storyblocks Audio. Let's start with an overview of the unit itself. It's actually very tiny. If you're lacking space, this is a great option compared to the original XD. It has the same inputs and outputs as you've seen on the XD, left, right, out, damper. You have the CV inputs, the sync, the MIDI, and so on. So just a quick recap if you don't know what the XD is. It's a four voice analog and digital synthesizer. You actually have two analog oscillators here and a digital oscillator where you can load custom digital oscillators into it, a user-made or community-made digital oscillators. So there's great customizability in this way or expandability using the digital oscillator. You also have a really nice effect section with reverb, delay and mod effects. Mod effects are like flanger, chorus and that sort of stuff. Basically what's going on here, you have a 16 step sequencer, you have four lanes of automation. So yeah, just a very, very quick, very quick rundown of what the XD is about. Now let's listen to some more sounds. same synth as the original XD minus the keyboard but you do have a keyboard function over here so if I switch it up I can now play using the sequencer <laughs> and I can use the octave button to of course increase or decrease the octave You can of course use this new keyboard to program a sequence, so we can do it by doing step recording. And we see on the little screen here that we're moving forward. Next up, let's talk about polychain. It means that you can hook up two XD modules or an XD keyboard and a module and get a total of eight notes of polyphony. So when I play notes, I think it cycles between the different devices. So first four notes. The reason why it sounds different is because I might have said something up wrong on my Zoom, but yeah, they, they should sound the same. So let's make a little sound here. Mm -hmm. 
we could do, instead of just doing normal poly, we could do duo. So let me walk you through how easy it is to set up Polychain. You can Polychain a module and a keyboard, or two modules, or two keyboards together. So first you have to decide which is the master. So let's assume we have a keyboard over here, just like in my examples. You take a MIDI cable, plug it into the MIDI input of the XD module, and that is going to be the slave. If the keyboard is the slave, it's just the other way around. You plug it into the input of the keyboard and then you plug it into the output of the keyboard the master unit then you go into edit mode we are in global edit so we go into global 4 and you can see here if we scroll to the last page polychain off then you can choose master or slave and that's pretty much it and then you go to the master unit say the middle of the keyboard and you just turn on polychain master and that should be it. If you're not seeing these settings, you probably need to update the firmware, so be sure to do that. Now in polychain mode, you're using the controls of the master unit. So let's say this module here is the master and we have another module that we're controlling. Uh, we're using the controls here to shape the sound of the other unit as well. So if I change the cutoff, I'll be changing the cutoff of the other unit as well, as you've seen per my demonstration. Now this is something that I'd love to be able to turn off so I, I could control uh, the units separately because then you could create some really wild stuff while still being able to play it in Polychain. But I would say that for most use cases, the setup that Korg is going for here, where you have total control over the second synth using the controls of the first synth is actually very good, it's very useful. I think for example in a live situation it's very handy, very useful. And the integration is very tight, it's very smooth, works very well, so, so yeah, I actually dig it quite a lot. Next up I have some community suggestions, but before that a word from my sponsor. Storyblocks Audio is a service that I've used for several of my videos lately. It has just been a great way to quickly improve my storytelling by adding music and effects to help set the mood. For example, my video, The Truth About the Tom and Synth Reactor event, would not have been so impactful without the use of music and effects that I got from Storyblocks Audio. With a Storyblocks Audio membership you get unlimited downloads of high quality content and it's royalty free for both commercial and personal personal project. I highly recommend it, so go and check it out at the link in the description. So with the overview and demo segment out of the way, there are a couple of things, a couple of questions from social media that I want to address, a couple of points that I want to bring up and bring to Cork's attention. So yeah, let's, let's talk about what you've said online. So who is the XD module for? Well, I would say it's pretty obvious. It's basically a product for anybody who wants a mini log XD but doesn't necessarily want the keyboard. So they made a desktop unit, it's very small as you can see, takes up a lot less space, very slim design. So I think they've executed perfectly on, on these needs, which I know has been expressed for a long time by the community, so that's awesome. Now potential second group are people like me who have the XD and like it and want to expand it with more voices. So you use it in polychain mode, you get eight voices, but then suddenly becomes the question, should I get the XD module or should I get the Prologue 8 instead? And it's not exactly the same thing. I would say that polychain works very nicely, but you have to remember you have to have four channels out. You, you, can't, you can't route the audio through one of the modules. So you have to have four channels out, and the way the voices are allocated is a little bit different from having like a prologue 8, which is much more of a, how do you say, coherent, it's, it's one instrument basically that you're buying instead of two instruments that you're connecting together. So there is a bit of difference there. 
Uh, but of course, if you need a sequencer, then the XD is the way to go. But if you want something with eight voices to bring on stage, the Prolog is the way to go. The Prolog doesn't have the sequencer and it also has a full ADSR for the envelope generator, which is actually yeah, quite a big deal. And you can also split the keyboard and layer sounds on the Prolog, which you can't even in poly mode with the XD and the XD module. Which brings me to a suggestion to Korg. I would love it if you guys unlocked the polychain mode so you could actually run different sounds on each device but you can still use the eight voices from one keyboard. This would be really cool. Currently you can't, I don't know if there's any plans to be able to but I would strongly urge Korg to make this possible so that I could be sweeping the filter on one unit and sweeping it on another unit so they're not tied together. This would be really cool. I don't know if it's possible technically, but it would be really cool because you could create much more complex and layered sounds, especially if you're having two different sequences running at the same time, uh, maybe for automations, not for note values, that would be maybe weird, but definitely for different automations, for fil different filter sweeps on both synths, for example. So I think this could open it up a lot. But I understand if this is not a priority because I think this is a very niche use case. I think it applies to only a very small percentage of potential customers. Mm -hmm. And last but not least is a suggestion from the community, which I thought was a really, a really clever idea. Enable it so you can do polychain between the original Minilog and the XD. I think this would be amazing because a lot of owners of a mini log are asking themselves, should I be selling it and buying the XD? If you could polychain the two, that'd be really cool. Now, of course, it would be very different from polychaining two XDs together, but yeah, I just kind of dig the idea. You could create some really interesting soundscapes with those eight voices going over two synths. Now, of course, there are other ways to do this. You could simply run a sequencer and utilize it that way, but it would be just so fun to be able to do it with two devices. Maybe this is a super niche thing, super niche idea, but I really like it. I think it would be very clever. I think that sort of integration makes sense for the Logue family. So Korg, if you're listening, I, I would love to see that. I know a lot of people have been asking me about it, so maybe it's something you can consider for future updates. So what do you think about the XD module? Do you like it? Do you prefer it to the original Minilog or XD design with the keyboard? Let us know in the comments. And big thanks to Storyblocks Audio for sponsoring this episode. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description. It's a good service. I like it. So go and check it out if you want to. Well, until next time, have a great day. Go make some music. Enjoy your synths.